A new article detailing behind the scenes life in the household of Sarah Palin and her husband and family. And the source of all this new information is Levi Johnston, Bristol Palin's former fiance, the father of her eight month old baby, uh, named Trip, of course. And Bill Weir has taken a look at what the young man is saying. Bill. It's been quite a year for this 19 year old. Uh, since we first met him at the Republican National Convention, Levi Johnston did become a father, ended his engagement to Bristol Palin. And now the young electrician in training occasionally models, gets movie offers and was paid by Vanity Fair for these photos and a scathing glimpse into Sarah Palin's secret life. His story contradicts virtually everything America knows about the former governor and it is counter to the praises he once sang to Larry King. They always treated me like a son. I mean, they're they real nice to me. I'm, I thought of her as like my second mother. The young man who once called Sarah Palin a great lady now says America's most famous hockey mom rarely attended hockey games and isn't much of a mom at all. She pays no attention to her kids when the cameras aren't around, he tells Vanity Fair. The kids do it all themselves. Cook, clean, do the laundry, get ready for school. As for her avowed love of the outdoors. I'm a lifetime member of the NRA. It's a part of the culture here in Alaska. I've just grown up with that. The campaign was filled with her stories of caribou hunts, and she took network camera crews along on a fishing trip with her husband this summer. But Johnson says people think that Sarah likes hunting and fishing and camping, but she doesn't. I've never seen her touch a fishing pole. She had a gun in her bedroom and one day asked me to show her how to shoot it. Three days after Palin joined the Republican ticket, America learned that her 17-year-old daughter Bristol was pregnant with Johnson's child. While the Palins publicly supported their decision to wed and raise the baby, Levi now says the governor initially proposed a very different plan and talked about it for weeks. Sarah told me she had a great idea. We would keep it a secret. No one would know that Bristol was pregnant. She told me that once Bristol had the baby, she and Todd would adopt him. Johnson even attacks the Palin marriage, saying that the couple fought so often they couldn't get through a Hawaiian vacation together and divorce was often discussed. They're good on television, but once the cameras would leave, they didn't talk to each other, he says. And all the time Bristol and I were together, I've never seen them sleep in the same bedroom. Regarding Palin's decision to resign as governor more than a year before term's end, Levi claims she often complained that the job was too grueling given the low pay. A week or two after she got back, she started talking about how nice it would be to quit and write a book or do a show and make triple the money. It was to her not as hard. As for Johnson's efforts to cash in, the self-described country guy who didn't want to put himself in front of thousands of people on the campaign recently walked the red carpet at the Teen Choice Awards and during the Vanity Fair photo shoot admitted that he would be willing to pose for Playgirl. You ever thought about doing a Playgirl? That's a serious question right now. Huh? I, I, I was just talking to some people on Playgirl. I'd do it. Governor Palin did not issue an official statement, but those close to her say that Levi Johnson has said a lot of contradictory things about the Palins in past media appearances, inferring that this is just another one of those times and he might be angling for a book deal. No kidding. You think? I don't know <laughs> no. what's left to tell after I was this article. Say, when does he stop? Yeah, there's does he nothing. Stop he now? Is, uh, we'll see. Anyway.